how bad things must be in the post office right now because it got bad. And let me tell you, it just went from bad to worse. Welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth. Flipper, have a great day of sales today. 30, well, as I always say, sometimes we're not shipping them all out, but if I shipped them all out of here today, 35 items for over $1,100. Not too bad. Not too bad for a couple of days. So I'm pretty happy with that. But if you remember from last week, I talked a little bit about the post office and how things, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, 21 years. And I could tell you about 99% of the encounters, everything else with postal employees has been amazing. And then all of a sudden it took a downturn. And I can only think it's the morale of the people in the post office, how bad things must be in the post office right now because it got bad. And let me tell you, it just went from bad to worse. And I can't wait to tell you the story. Let's take a look. For all you people who always complain that I don't get to the story for a few minutes, I'm gonna go about five sales, about five minutes, and then we're gonna get to that story. But then you're going to miss all the cool sales, especially this one. I love this sale. Blue Ridge Mama's work. I mean, she listed all this stuff. If you've been watching, she has been just crushing it for us lately. So seven Animaniacs toys. And these are heavy. These aren't your cheapo uh, McDonald's toys. These are a little bit better quality than we're used to seeing these days. And these sold pretty good. Y'all like Animaniacs? Let's see here. There's the ice cream. And those sold for $15, I think. Yeah, fifteen dollars plus shipping. I just want to look at them all. They're cool. I love the Animaniacs. Headed back to the toy bin, the plush bin, and this one is right here. It's not a huge sale, um, but you know, you get things cheap enough, you can still make money, and it's so super easy, right? This one sold. This one sold to a viewer actually. Hallmark fluff balls. I think uh, eight fifty five. So not too bad. This one went to Candace. Hey Kevin, just want to say that I'm a huge fan. Watch all your videos. The plush will be a gift for my son's fourth birthday. Thank you for all your great advice and tips. Will you be getting in more pink Ikea bags in stock? Please tell Reagan we need more jokes. Melissa, I said Candace, but it's not, it's Melissa. And what's the eBay store name? For Marissa Made on eBay, I think I read that right. So Melissa, thank you, not Candace, but I do appreciate it. And the answer about the pink Ikea bag, so maybe <laughs> there's my answer maybe we'll see what we can do i knew i have a couple you know what i should probably put them up for auction that's for, that may be what i'll do i think i have two left but we're going to do our best to get some in as soon as possible but that's up to ikea because they only stock those seasonally so we'll see have you ever sold something to somebody famous i don't think this is to a famous person but it does have an interesting connection it is one of those range finders, golf range finders. This is the Tesla picker drawer from the lost and found sale. It's the white Nikon, that's it. And it's so, what I say, 57 plus shipping? So that's not too bad. Pretty happy with that sale right there. We are in the pure profit at this point for those right there. And it, here's the interesting part. So this one, you know, if you don't know anything about golf as far as selling stuff, a lot of times when you sell golf stuff, it's going to somebody with a Japanese last name, somebody of Japanese descent. And that's what's happening here. Isao Aoki. And that is the name of a famous golfer. I used to watch him in the late 80s, early 90s. He was really, really good. And uh, I doubt that's where it's going. It's going to Georgia. But it certainly is going to somebody who has his name if it's not him. He's pretty, you know, he, he might be approaching 80 at this point. Maybe not that old. But definitely in his mid-70s. So I don't, I can't imagine. He could probably get this stuff for free if he wanted it. So it's probably just somebody with his name. The next two are items that sold to, sorry, that showed up from a viewer that we're selling. So thank you to Marilyn Mack out there. You are amazing and a great supporter of our channel for a long time. And that was the kind of thing I did not expect when we started to get a, uh, when we had our YouTube channel that people would send us things to sell, which blows my mind. And, and certainly nobody needs to do that, but... That was very, very kind here. Made in Britain, this is a Corgi, but this isn't one of the old, well, I mean, 1979, right? And it's actually in pretty good shape. Miss Piggy, you gotta love Miss Piggy, she's funny. At any rate, that one sold for $9 plus shipping. Next one is a crazy good sale, something definitely to look out for. Swarovski Crystal 
Christmas ornament, 19, 19, no, no, not at all. <laughs> 2008, I'm losing my mind here. And this one, I don't really want to open it. Well, what the heck, I'll open it here. See if I can do it with one hand, it's a little hard. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. And maybe, I don't know. There it is right there. Pretty nice. It's got the paperwork below $110 plus shipping. All right, I'm going to attempt to give you a little bit of an update here on the post office story. And this is interesting. I'm trying to remember exactly where I left off. I think I left off with the fact that they wanted that scan sheet and that they, I don't know if I told you this or not, but they told me that somebody was going to call me, not the director, not or not the postmaster, excuse me, but the supervisor underneath him who was there when I was there was going to call me and explain to me how I could print off the scan sheet. Well, I know how to print off the scan sheet. That wasn't the issue. The issue was I was shipping on multiple days from multiple platforms. I did think for a while that this scan sheet wouldn't work, but a lot of viewers told me that the scan sheet on there would work. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an update here on how that story's going. All right, first of all, before I tell you this story, you got to understand, you know, I was a high school history teacher for 21 years. So I'm not trying to disrespect postal workers. I get it. It's like a thankless job. I get it. You know, there's nothing you can do that's right. You know, when you're a teacher, either the parents are mad at you or the kids are mad at you or or the administration's mad at you. Somebody's always mad at you. There's always something going wrong and you're never doing anything right. <laughs> so, Or you're mad at yourself because you can't do your job. Well, you get the point. So I went to the post office that day. I told you about it last time. I think I went, to, I think I told you this part of the story. I should probably go back and watch that video where they told me they were going to, you know, send me a message, whatever. And they told me that, yeah, they can enforce pickup, whatever. So here's what happens. I good news is number seven boxes showed up again. I saw the lady getting out of her car, you know, putting them up there. I'm like, sweet, I'm going to go talk to her. So I went out there and she looked at me and I'm like, oh boy. And it was clear that somebody told her, I, I, did I tell you that I tried pickup, right? And I told them at the post office, I didn't pick up, I don't know, I did pick up, tried to do pickup a bunch of times. And there was like a 50% chance that it actually got picked up. And so they told her that and they accused her of not doing her job. But I clearly told them that that was years ago when I tried that. This person hadn't been on my route a year. So they were yelling at this person for something that she never did. And now she's looking at me like I'm a liar because I told them that, right? And it's clear. So I'm, it's already out of control. I'm like, oh my gosh. But when I started to talk to her a little bit, she seemed really nice. She actually seemed really, really overwhelmed. She was talking about all the pickups that she has on this route and how when her route's done, she has to go out two more times and, and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, hey, I don't want you to do pickup. I want to take it there. I want to scan it in. I want to have any, it's, you know, it's right down the road. And so she was already working to the point where, hey, how can me and you work together maybe to get this done without them so it makes both of our lives easier? And I'm like, that is awesome. So we're going to still think about it a little bit, but one of the things she talked about is if they'll let me put all my stuff in a tub in the back back of the building and set it there, and when she comes in, she'll scan it all in. No problem. It beats the heck out of her having to drive all the way out here, scan it in, and head back. So that's pretty good, I guess, but it is kind of sad, to be honest, that they accused her of doing something wrong when it was clearly somebody from years ago. But that's how it is, right? Everybody's pointing fingers, everybody's mad at everybody else, and the morale I don't think is really good. All right, but here's where the story gets good. I went to a different post office to drop my items off. And the reason I went to this post office wasn't because I was mad at this post office, because it's so much closer and I wanna get this resolved where everybody's happy and we can all do this and we can all just get along in, in old Rodney King style, right? Can't we all just get along? The reason I went to a different post office was actually because Reagan had gymnastics up the road, quite a bit up the road, and we were running a little bit late. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to drive all the way down there. I'll just drop it off at another post office. Well, I walk into that post office. There are two people in there, two, each with one package. I walk in there. I have one Ikea bag. That's it. Just one. I don't have a ton of stuff that day. I'm, it was the, from the video where we talked about they were all first class items. You remember that? They all fit in one bag. And as soon as I walk in, this lady pulled her glasses down and stared at me. I'm like, what in the world? I've never been to this post office. I've never even been to this town before. And well, I've been to the town, but I certainly had, I've driven through the town. So as she looked up, I said, hey, these are, you know, these are all finished. Is there somewhere I can drop them off? 
And she says, do you need a receipt? And I said, no, I don't need a receipt. That's fine. I'll just drop them off over here. She said, well, you can drop them off over here, but they're probably not going to get done today. I'm like, really? This place doesn't close for three hours and there's two people in line. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I just set them over there and let it be. And uh, I assume they got scanned in. I guess just like everybody else, you have to raise their prices and just add to the mess we're in here. And uh, just to get more help. I don't know, I guess. What else are you going to do, right? We're losing people like crazy. The people that have aren't happy. So it's a mess. All right. This bag right here. I think this went to a viewer. I don't think there's a message. But Jane, one of our awesome viewers, I think that's who purchased this. So thank you very much. And that one went maybe $15 plus shipping. Next item up is right here, and it's one I can't pronounce. It reminds me, this little vase back there has a story to it. You should be seeing it over the coming weeks. I don't know. G-U-R, G-U-E-R-L-A-I-N. Guerlain? Is that right? Paris? And it, believe it or not, this one came from the Once in a Lifetime sale. Shalimar. Vintage bottle. Full. $100. Plus shipping. And right here's another famous name. Best Western. Well, Best Western is not the name I was talking about. Megan Kelly from New York. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Best Western Worldwide Lodging. Eleven dollars ten ninety nine plus shipping for that one. Sold a I think it was a one dollar buy. Caterpillar duffel bag. And by the way, those ashtrays, there is a holy grail of those small ashtrays the amber colored ones and that is a, a, certainly of the mass produced ones and that's the mcdonald's one i've mentioned it before a lot of you know it out there but you ever see that mcdonald's one you gotta snatch it gotta grab that thing up they're the taller sides on it but it's like 200 250 bucks caterpillar back brand new and there were no comps on there but i'm like shoot this thing will definitely sell to the right person just took a while one dollar into 28 dollars and 50 cents Plus shipping. Almost missed it. That one went to a viewer. Went to Jay. Hi, Kevin and family. Thanks for the great information on the video. I'm going to use this on my next trip to visit my mom and take her out to some garage sales. Hopefully get her involved and give her a side gig, he says. So, Jay, thank you for the purchase. I appreciate it. And we sold some Tupperware, Jay. I know that's shocking, right? Selling some Tupperware. $15.20. And it's got to be in these bags here. One of these two. Maybe I got the right one here. Because they're a bunch of cups. That's it right there. Can you all see that in there? I'll take one out. There's a bunch. But you know the lids will sell on their own too. And the cups. Orange and like. Are they all orange? They're kind of like reddish there. So I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. $15.20 plus shipping. Back to the Tupperware again. What do you know? An egg keeper. With the inserts in them. Almond color. There we go, right there. Yeah, fifteen dollars plus shipping. Want to take just a second to thank Lisa and Sean for buying the plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table. Hey, I get the question all the time: How long is this thing? Because be people before they buy the plans on CommonwealthPicker.com, they want to check it out and they want to see if it'll fit in their space. So first of all, there's there's some give room here where you could go probably five inches either way of what I tell you. Uh, the measurements are here. They're, it's seven feet nine inches, is basically what you're looking at. But you can probably fit it to put, you know, because obviously you don't need all that space. There's a few inches extra here. You could switch where boxes are going, you know, and just make a couple minor adjustments. But seven feet nine inches total in length. <laughs> that boy and his dog. I love it. See that picture back there, Turner? Yeah. That's from Norman Rockwell. That That's why like I love that? that picture. Yeah, a boy and his dog. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. What'd you sell, bud? Luigi and Luigi. Luigi and Luigi. And those are McDonald's Happy Meal toys from 1989. 1989. That was a long time yeah. ago. It is. I was 12, buddy. At any rate, those sold for $9.50 plus shipping. That's pretty good. Just enough for you to do what? Save dollars, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Bye. <laughs> just sold a Mario. Now, guess what? We sold, uh, excuse me, we just sold a Luigi. Now we sold a Mario. But this is modern Lego. Crazy. 
Amazing how that happens. Seven one three six three fifty. Uh, what is over sixteen dollars fifty cents plus shipping. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> All right, y'all, sold some Tupperware, and this, I don't know where I put this, to be honest with you, it might be over here. It's a burger press. It's not there. Gotta find the burger press. Maybe they're all in here. Yeah, there they are. Burger press, and I think the lady wanted $5 from them. I was at a sale, and I'm like, you know, I'll give you three for them, and boy, I took it in the comments. You know, five down to three, but these only sell for... You know, 15. They sold, I think they sold for 15 and change plus shipping. So, you know, 5 into 15 when you're paying all the fees and going through all It's not really worth it. So, just that extra couple of bucks, to me, was where I needed it to be in order to make it worth my time. So, Burger Press, you know, summer's coming. Spring's coming. Summer's coming. And these are pretty popular. They're still used quite a bit. So, keep an eye out for those. Don't pay too much for them, though. All right, I have a dilemma. I have a dog in here. I have a cat over here. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's Pepper. She's the only one who visits me in here. Come on, Pepper. Oh, look. Yeah, these two don't hate each other. They don't. And, and maybe the dog, maybe it'll scare you. What do you think? Does that scare you? No, doesn't scare you? <laughs> Ping I-20. That head cover, fairway head cover. Sold for $15. Free shipping. Sold something else from the once in a lifetime sale. Sold some Atari paddles. We've already sold some. This is the second batch, and this is like the ping pong tennis paddle. Now all I have to do is find it. In that one. Nope, not in that one. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it right here. These paddles right here. $18. Oh, tangled up with the joysticks. I get the right ones. $18. Plus shipping on those old Atari 2600 paddles. See the little ping pong or tennis rackets right there, I guess is what they're. $18 plus shipping. Not much going on inside the eBay cave tonight. What is this? Be a light for all to see. Matthew 5, 16. A little lantern right there. Simply Southern. I don't know. I've seen my wife wear stuff like this. Maybe it's hers. I don't see a hole in it. I don't think it's from Goodwill, so... I don't know, nine fifty for this one plus shipping. Hey, yo, Jackie. Reagan, the animal lover, is with us today, y'all. <laughs> Sophie. Are you jealous? Oh my goodness! Yeah, Sophie's always my jealous. Balls. Come here. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, do you not want to give it to me? All right, Reagan, they want a joke from you. Will you give us a joke at the end of the show today? Yep. Okay. And do you remember the names of the people who bought stuff mm -hmm. today? There's Heather. actually a lot more than this. It's just what we're saying today. Heather, All right, what do you got? Rose, Shailene, and Matthew. Heather, Rose, Shailene, and Matthew. And if you have bought something from us in the last, like, 10 days, just wait. We're going to try to get everybody's name on there eventually. So thank you all so much. And they bought all kinds of stuff. One, Rose, you like Rose. Why do you like Rose? Why do you like that name? Because she's... I mean, Rose from the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls, Betty White, huh? Mm -hmm. You love, you love, love her. her. She's got Golden Girls buttons all over her backpack. Yeah. yeah. All right. And she got a sticker and a gray shirt. Rose is from Australia. Get this, Reagan. Yeah. Rose from Australia. I think about one of everything we have. And it's going down under. Is that crazy? That is crazy. Amazing. Amazing. You know what Ostra means? It means mm -hmm. south. Yeah. What do you think about that? You don't care. You don't care either, do you? All right, what else do we have here? Uh, Shailene and Matthew. Are there are more cats out there. I hear people. What the? Oh. Oh, there's the gray cat. Okay, Pepper. No name, there's no name. He's kicking that thing's butt, I think. I'm sure. <laughs> oh. right there. No name, Pepper. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so we have another cat show up, y'all. Got no name took Calico. care of it. Calico got and a gray, gray cat. Oh my goodness, y'all. And then Pepper no more. loves that Calico cat. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. Yeah, cool. Calico cat wants no name. And then Pepper just wants, I don't know what it is with the Calico Pepper. <laughs> right. I'm pretty too sure many they're animals. Girls. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we got? I think that's everybody. No, it isn't. Here it is. Charlene and Matthew from Idaho. 
They got five things. They sell on Poshmark and Mercari. Haven't started eBay yet. Maybe they should try the list perfect perfectly. You can hit that link below. So many other people have. So thank you all for that. And it's code Commonwealth. All right, Reagan, tell us a joke at the end, okay? Okay. Bye. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthStickers.com. Hey, quick thank you for all your support on all the platforms, especially on that video over there on Commonwealth Picker. You guys were awesome. Had a little bit of an incident there in the uh, church sale, and you were so sweet to my mom, and the kind things you said about her in, in the message or in the comments was really, really nice, and she enjoyed reading those. She really is an angel for sure. My dad, on the other hand, you know, not some, I'm kidding. He's, he's an all right guy. So anyway, just uh, thank you for that. And a lot of people lately have been talking about that. I saw a lot of people buying that no noise tape on Rolo and those Rolo scales. And, you know, I use the Rolo printer and so I have the affiliate links, but some people have been going through those links to buy that printer and I've never used it. So whenever I, you know, have a link to something, I can't control if it's taped to Rolo if you get that. So I've never used that, but I'm curious if anybody got that Rolo printer over there and would be willing to give me a review of it. Tell me how you like it, because so many people have bought it. So, And, of course, the wireless printer over there. Let me know how that is. And a lot of people saying good things about that no-noise tape, too. So thank you all for using that, using those Rolo links. And the list perfectly. And Clara over there sent us a nice message to all of us. How kind you all have been to her in the uh, in the video of course in the comments about list perfectly you guys are awesome don't forget if you do that and i you know if you're not ready for a cross posting thing then then you probably shouldn't use it but a lot of people said they were ready for it and they were just waiting to figure out the right one and so if you do use the list perfectly links don't forget to use code commonwealth and you'll get 30 percent off it's uh doesn't matter if it's all caps or lowercase or whatever but code commonwealth thank you all so much oh i got one more on here Oh, Steve. Thank you to Steve. Uh, $2. Buy me coffee. That was really, really kind of you. Going towards the shed, and uh, mm, I have got to make a decision. I, I'm so close. We haven't paid for it just yet, but it is time for sure to make a decision because we need to expand a little bit for sure. Anyway, thank you to Steve for that. Thank you to all of you for everything you do for us all the time. Don't forget to go check out Trash to Cash Podcast, too, if you have nothing else better to do because it's not worth your time. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's pretty funny. Talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for joining us, and we can't wait to see you next time. All right, we got Reagan with some Commonwealth comedy. What do you got for us? How did the Tupperware lady escape from jail? How did the Tupperware lady escape from jail? I don't know how. They couldn't contain her. <laughs> that sounds like a Blue Ridge Mama joke. <laughs> Thank you, Reagan.